I'm asking if everyone has maybe a first date red flag or deal breaker that they could share. I think it's actually pretty apropos for your episode, especially, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, uh, a deal breaker for me is um, if the person I'm on a date with mistreats um, anyone who's in the service industry. That is which, a goodbye. Which we see kind of your character do in this episode <laughs> too. I was like, ooh, cringing. <laughs> no, and you know, Jesse, Jesse, I remember being like, ooh, this is, ah, I would not do this. And Jesse's like, she is so tired. We have to let her, her unravel. And it's, you know, I think that that's also not their first date. Like, yes. you know, he knows her part <laughs> and I, she's not putting her, for, her best foot forward and people are allowed to make mistakes. But if you are on a first date with me, you know, what did you say, Benga? You were saying like, you're getting, when you meet somebody, it's- The diplomats. Yeah. Mm. If that's your best version and you're, you're not being nice to someone in the service industry, goodbye. <laughs> How about you, Mega? Same, same question, maybe same answer, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely same answer as far as like, like Zoe said, if it's the first date. I mean, if, if, if it's, you know, a few dates in and you know someone's hard and they're having an off day and they're big, and, and, and just, Jesse's right. Yeah, she was very, very tired. Um, the, the character was. Yeah. What in in addition to that, I I went on. I, this is years ago, many years ago. I, I went on a date with this woman who I thought was very attractive, and 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 and, and it was, and it was all good. And uh, and then I found out later she lied about having a kid, and and that I could never see her the same way after that. Uh, that that and like, and and and. To her defense, I guess you know, she was a young mother, and I guess people it's like I had given her like you know grief like or or whatever for have, having had a kid, whatever. But she so she told me she didn't, and then mm. and I wanted to give it a chance after that, but after that I just I, I can't deny your kid to me. Yeah, I, I guess I, it'll be hard to ever go back after that. Yeah, that's a big omission. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you know, in this episode, when you know Zoe fiercely defends the Real Housewives and refuses to sleep with him uh, until he watches it. I'm curious for you, is there a show that you need your significant other to either be a fan of or at least begrudgingly watch with you? Yeah, there are two shows and they're both reality TV shows. One is Alone, Ooh. about surviving. Um, uh, and we're in, we're in our eighth season right now. And then um, the other is Terrace House, <laughs> which is a Japanese reality TV show where not much happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to have to check out Terrace House. I've never heard that before. I love it so much. It's very, it's like calming. It's the opposite of Love Island. Like no one mm -hmm. kisses. Not, there's not much happens, but I, <laughs> I dig it. Um. Seinfeld. Yeah. I, I I still I still I'm I'm like that's I I've seen every episode at least like like five times. I grew up watching the show. I still watch it. Um, and it's now it's it's what, my veg out show, but I can also laugh at it. Whatever. So if someone can't watch Seinfeld with me, or at least just sit there while I'm doing work and Seinfeld's on, or we and we can conversate, if they can't abide Seinfeld, it's it's going to be a tough a road to hold. <laughs> well, Wait, what, for me, it's, what for you. I was gonna say for me, it's Buffy. So they're all right behind me. I don't know if you can see, but yes, Buffy. <laughs>